Okay. Um, thank you very much. Let me thank you, ladies and gentlemen of the press, and um, to thank my friend and brother, President for Yasingwe, for the very warm welcome we have received since we arrived here. Um, I want to thank also all the political stakeholders, the leaders of parties and the candidates who are taking part in the presidential election, also for the very uh, friendly and warm meeting that we have had. This current visit is a follow-up to the earlier one I paid. As you are aware, ECOWAS protocol on good governance, democracy, and elections, and the African Union protocols on uh, democracy and elections, the charter, um, indicate that um, our institutions are interested to ensure that elections are held in a peaceful atmosphere and that we build stable democracies, uh, not only in our sub-region, but also on the African continent. And so as a result of that, as chairman of the authority of heads of state, I paid a visit um, about four weeks ago to, um, as a follow-up to the long-term monitoring uh, group that ECOWAS had established. And um, I had discussions with um, His Excellency for Yasingbe and also with the leaders of the other parties <coughs> and the presidential candidates. It gave me an opportunity to listen to any concerns that any of the candidates had so that um, we could address those concerns uh, before the day of the elections. During that visit, I realized that there were concerns on the side of the minority parties in respect of the electoral list, that is the voters register. And so ECOWAS, in consultation with the stakeholders, took a decision that the election date be pushed forward by 10 days so that it would give the Electoral Commission, which was working um, together in collaboration with the Francophonie, a group from the Francophonie, enough time to address the concerns uh, to do with the electoral list. Happily, in this follow-up visit, and I had promised uh, when I came on the last visit that I'll come back before the election to make sure that everything was okay. Happily, on this follow-up visit, um, there have been no concerns about the electoral list. Um, all the parties agree that the list has been cleaned up and they are happy to go into elections with um, the current electoral uh, list. Um, in this current visit, a few other concerns came up. And uh, these had to do with uh, the ballots. It had to do <coughs> with um, the transmission and declaration of results. It had to do with security of the electoral process, and it had to do with the issue of early voting. As you are aware, the security services are supposed to vote uh, earlier than everybody else because they have duties to perform on election day. But all the concerns that were uh, carried across by uh, the stakeholders were discussed with the Electoral Commission. And um, the Electoral Commission gave us a quite satisfactory response to many of the concerns that were raised. Um, one of the issues we noticed was that there's a bit of a communication gap between the Electoral Commission and the stakeholders because um, we realized that some of them at that level did not understand what the Electoral Commission was doing in respect of some of the electoral processes. And so we agreed that the Electoral Commission should hold a major press briefing in which members of the media and the press will all be there and also representatives of the political parties will be there so that they can walk all the stakeholders through the electoral process step by step, especially in respect of the issues that the leaders raised with us. And I'm sure that once that has been done, everybody will have confidence in the electoral process going forward. And so the Electoral Pro uh, Commission would indicate the date, but it should be as soon as possible before the election date so that um, this press conference can take place 
and any clarifications that the political stakeholders need will be made available to them at this press conference before the elections on 25th of this month. In the meantime, there are a few issues that ECOWAS wants to reinforce. And the first one is that this is a contest that everybody is going into. There can be only one winner. But the whole of the Republic of Togo will be the winner if this election is conducted in a free, fair, transparent, and peaceful manner. And so ECOWAS wants to restate that all the candidates must go into it knowing that one winner will emerge, but all of them will be winners if the democratic process goes forward in a free, fair, transparent, and peaceful manner. And so all the candidates going in must be prepared to accept the results of this election. Aside from that, we also want to restate that the Electoral Commission shall be the only body authorized constitutionally to announce results and that political parties should refrain from announcing their own results or any institution or organizations should refrain from announcing results because it's, it's a recipe for creating confusion. The Electoral Commission will do the collation and compilation and will be the ones to announce uh, the results. And so we hope that from now until Election Day, all parties will con continue to conduct their campaigns in a very peaceful manner and refrain from provocative actions or any action that will disturb the peace. It is also indicated that campaigning stops 24 hours before the election, and it is our hope that all the political parties will abide by the electoral code and refrain from conducting any campaigns uh, within that uh, period. And so these are a summary of uh, the issues that we have taken up. I want to uh, inform you that the ECOWAS monitoring group is going to be here. The other international organizations that are sending monitoring, monitoring groups, ECOWAS is sending a 100 uh, member strong monitoring group led by Professor Amos Sawyer, the former uh, uh, president of Liberia, and uh, he will be leading the monitoring group. They are going to be here with you to uh, ensure that everything goes uh, properly. But I want to say that the whole international community will be watching you here in Togo. And um, just as was done by Nigeria in a very peaceful and uh, fair election that uh, ensured the stability of Nigeria, we hope that the elections here in Togo are also going to be as peaceful and that nothing will be done to disturb uh, the peace of uh, this this country and so i want to thank you all very much uh, for your attention